let us look at the <coughs> proof of uh, a well-known rule called the cosine rule. Um, the rule is like this, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c. Now I've drawn a triangle ABC, uh, the side opposite to angle A, this is your angle A, is lowercase a, and uh, the side opposite to angle B is lowercase b, and so on. Okay, so I've dropped a perpendicular from, I drop a perpendicular from A to B, C, and I'm calling that as M. So this is the foot of perpendicular. So if I say CM is X, I hope you understand BM is A minus X because BC is A and CM is X. So this has to be this whole thing minus X. So now we're going to use Pythagoras. So let me write here using Pythagoras. Now Pythagoras is one of the theorems that is so much used in. Uh, trigonometry using Pythagoras uh, in triangle. So let me write in triangle AMB. In triangle AMB. If uh, using, hope you know Pythagoras theorem, I can say h squared is equal to this is a smaller side, so that would be hypotenuse squared minus the other shorter side, which is A minus x squared. So let me call this result 1. As an in triangle AMC, again making h the subject, can I say h squared is equal to b squared minus x squared. So in triangle AMC, b is the hypotenuse and in triangle AMB, c is the hypotenuse. Say so this is the result 2. Therefore, from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, can I say, what is 1? 1 is c squared minus a minus x squared is equal to b squared, b squared minus x squared. So basically, 1 is in terms of h squared, h squared is equal to something this, and uh, result 2 is also in terms of h squared. So the left hand side of 1 is equal to left hand side of 2. So the right hand side of 1 can be equated to the right hand side of 2. So let us expand this. So this is c squared minus, this is a minus x times a minus x is equal to b squared minus x squared. So this is c squared minus c squared minus uh, using expansion or using foil this is a squared minus 2ax plus x squared is equal to b squared minus x squared so now let me expand the bracket so this is c squared minus a squared plus 2ax minus x squared is equal to b squared minus x squared so you got x squared minus x squared on this side and minus x squared on this side. So you can cancel that. I hope you understand that cancellation. So you got c squared minus a squared plus 2ax is equal to b squared. So I'm going to take this whole thing to the right hand side. So c squared is a squared plus b squared minus 2ax. Okay, so we're almost there. Now let us go back and look at the triangle. So, so if you make, suppose if you cos c for cos for angle c, if you take the cosine of c, the adjacent is x and the hypotenuse is b. So can I say cosine c? is adjacent over hypotenuse which is x over b so what is x x is b times cosine c or cos c so in place of x i can put b cos c so therefore 
I can say c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2a. Again, what is x? x is b cos cos b. So it is a b cos c. Now this is a very useful formula when we are finding sides and angles of a non-right angle triangle. Okay. 